Hello. In this video, we're gonna learn uh, how to do t-test of amine. Um, so go down to below, copy the link, and follow uh, along with this video. Um, so the problem is that uh, an article in San Jose Mercury News stated that the students uh, in uh, California State University system take uh, 4.5 years on average to finish their undergrad degrees. Suppose you believe that the mean time is longer. You conduct a survey of 49 students and obtain a sample mean of 5.1 with sample standard deviation of 1.2. So do the data support your claim at 1% level? So let's sum the them first. So we have over here that you conduct 49 students, that mean n equal 49, right? And the sample mean that I have the x bar, so I don't have like this x bar, uh, would be equal to 5.1. And with the sample standard deviation, that means S equal to 1.2. 2. And um, the claim that would be um, the original claim that would be, um, say, the mean would be longer, that means um, bigger. So I don't have the mean uh, symbol, so I'm going to write mu right here. Uh, so this one would equal to 0.5. And then the alternative of this, um, I'm sorry, longer, that means greater than 0.5. Okay. And the alternative <coughs> statement, <coughs> so opposite with longer, <coughs> that would mean the mu would be less than or equal to, right? So less than or equal to, or equal to uh, 4.5. So then from here, we have our HO. It's all the one have the equal sign. So that means I have the mu would be equal to uh, 4.5, yeah? And then the um, original, that would be your alternative, so HA. So the other one would be that. So mu is greater than 4.5, right? So with all this set up, so we're ready to do the test. And remember that they give us over here also 1% level that's over here. That I have the alpha would be equal to 1%, mean 0, 0.01. So can go to the test. So you click on the statistic tab right here and you go to t-test for the mean because we don't know the population standard deviation. Click on that. So here we enter. So mu equals um, 4.5. Yeah. An alternative right here that we have over here that being greater than 4.5. Sample mean over here that give me over here that would be um, 5.1. And the sample standard deviation S, that would be 1.2. Yes, and the number of, um, oh, that would be 49 right here, yeah. So when you enter that, you will see down here, the p-value will be equal to 0.005. Okay? So from here, I have the p-value, p-value uh, would be equal to very zero point three and then the number five right here right this one we compare with alpha so this one is much lesser than alpha, is, uh, 0.01 so therefore if it's less than alpha then we will reject HO right so if we reject O that means we not reject H -O, right do not reject HA. But let's go back and look at which one HA. So HA actually our claim, huh? So therefore we, we don't read the claim. That means we support the claim. So therefore we will say here that means the data support the claim, right? Uh, the data will support the claim right here. 
So what is the claim? The data support the claim that we're going to copy this part here. Um, the mean time is more than five years. The claim that I'm going to change over here. The claim that the mean time of graduation is longer than 4.5 years at the 1% level that uh, we say right there. Right? So that's what we have over here. So I can copy this. So the claim is at the 1% level. Ready? Um, small the confidence and really good data that really support that's at the back that is um, graduation time would be longer than 4.5 years. So you can use the app to do for all the other problems that you have in the book.